Hey, I am at the Birmingham RV Show, and we're gonna be going through probably every one of these today, but this is not gonna be a review, an exhaustive review of every one of these RVs. Don't worry about that. So what we're gonna do is, as we're going through them, there are some that I'm probably gonna pick out that are gonna be of interest to us for our next RV, and I might go through some of those campers or, or RVs or whatever. So in the interest of keeping this video shorter, instead of going through all of these, uh, I'll, I'll just show you a few. So stick around. I've always thought these teardrops were really cool. But they are some tight space. The sitting space turns into a bed. And it's a wet bath, so all that becomes a shower. It's interesting, but it's tight. This is all the way up in the front of a fifth wheel. And this is a, just an, hi, an interesting floor plan. Because usually you have the bedroom all the way up in the front. And this has got a Massive shower in the bedroom. The stairs going down to the main level. Kitchen and living space. Another fifth wheel. And this one's pretty typical because it has the bedroom in the front. That is a big storage space in there too. That is giant. And attention, attention. In just a few minutes, folks, we will have our first of three seminars starting today. At one o'clock, our first seminar will be about exploring our national parks. Again, that will be the first of three seminars today, starting at one o'clock. Thank you. That's also potentially a closet. Okay. Down here in the kitchen and the living area. In a fifth wheel, these spaces always amaze me because the ceilings are high. It just feels like you have a lot more space. is an Airstream van. I've always thought these vans are interesting, but boy, you talk about some tight quarters. Ooh, it's tight. It's a wet bath, so everything is in the shower. All of this lays out to make a reasonably sized bed, but man, this is tight. Ooh. Still, it's interesting. So a truck camper. So as you step in, it's a wet bath, sort of. It does have a door right there. Oh, yeah. It has closets and storage space. It has a regular RV refrigerator, RV uh, appliances. So this really is not that, not that bad. Of course, it's a tight space this is not something you would want to spend all day in uh, but I just think for truck campers these things are always so interesting we have walked through probably 200 campers uh, what I've shown you is just a drop in the bucket of what's here thanks for sticking around to the end and I'll see you on the next one